Okay, this is my uh, 41 Farmall M. I put it together with pieces from a 1940 model and a 1941. Uh, the transmission rear end, our 41, has a M and W nine-speed transmission. It was originally uh, cable shifted. The farmer modified it to lever operated. I'll show you the changes there. And uh, the engine came out of a 41. It also has a Schwartz wide front end, uh, Charlin power steering. And I have designed my own hydraulic system for it. Now, while the hydraulic system is not live, as in it shuts off when you push the clutch in, it does, however, have modern equivalents of gallons per minute and the ability to develop the pressure needed for modern implements. So, what it is is a thousand RPM PTO pump that is run where the belly pump drive is. I had a machine shop weld a PTO stub to the drive piece and mounted the pump underneath. So first of all we got some extra lights up front. I've retrofitted LEDs into those, mounted them up front, similar to the W series but down low. Have the extra wheel weights. These are uh, 750 16 tires on the front and 13 638 on the back. I have a five gallon hydraulic reservoir mounted to the side here. It has a screen suction. Go down here to the pump. I mounted the pump down there. It has a 12 volt conversion. Optima battery, alternator kit from Charlie's Repair in Minnesota. Also put in the Pertronix electronic ignition right away. Here you can see the M&W 9-speed shift lever that is different from what M&W had. Kind of a farmer fix. Made the linkage inside the transmission. Uh, my hydraulic return has a filter on it. Another shot of the pump mounted under here. I have a two spool control valve mounted back here, easy to reach. Good breakaway couplings, just in case the hitch pin falls out. Uh, the reason I have it on this auger in particular, this auger. The 806 would not lift it until we put the high pressure relief valve in it. Uh, the 544 would barely lift it if you give it some throttle. So as you can hear, the, the M's just above idle. So our PTO pump is probably only turning about 200-300 RPM at the most. And it will lift this auger. A little slow at idle, but... The whole point is the amount of pressure it takes to raise this auger because it's a 1070 Brant. And I'll show you here, it only has one lift cylinder. And it's not a super big lift cylinder. So this is the most difficult hydraulic load I could probably give this tractor. And we're doing it just off idle. So as a proof of concept, my hydraulic system works. All that's left to do is fix a few more little leaks. I'm going to build a shield underneath so that the hoses and brackets don't catch on the grass when I'm making hay. Probably make some brackets to hold the hoses up so they don't rub and chase. Beyond that, everything is working, ready to go.